Hey everyone, new DC Spin Master is now in store. Alright, as always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos, and our time has officially come! Uh, so I have been getting reports all over the place that, yes, these guys are showing up. It's not just Batman, it is the DC Heroes, or the, the Heroes Unite line. Those are finally getting stocked, and like I said, way at the beginning of the year, I said something along the lines of, hey, they're redoing the first wave of DC Spin Master for Heroes Unite this year, so that means potentially we could be seeing this wave hit stores again, so you got your reverse flashes. I did not, this is my original one, but I have another one being sent to me because my friend was able to track one down. I also was able to acquire a Gorilla Grodd uh, in store, in store. So these are showing up now. Make sure to get your hands on them. Do keep in mind, they actually still have the first edition sticker on them. I don't know if that's going to be a thing for all of them going forward, but uh, look forward to these. Be excited because maybe they these will technically count as the first edition types. Um, also keep in mind, I have seen Lex Luthor. I have yet to see uh, John Stewart Green Lanterns floating about, but I assume that's only a matter of time. Uh, and I know people have been upset because, hey, there have been some rather large shipping delays uh, for the DC Spin Master line because we were expecting a wave a month ago, and now these are finally in hand too. So, um,. If you uh, stick around on this channel, I will be doing a review of some of the latest DC Spin Master figures. I was able to acquire for myself a Batwing, Harley Quinn, and Deathstroke. So basically everything that was supposed to be out last month is now showing up in store. So that's awesome. But what does that mean for the line going forward? Well, um, I don't have any concrete answers, but what I did was I went on Amazon, I typed up DC Spin Master, and I actually found something new, or at least images for something that uh, we already knew about, but we just hadn't seen yet. So let's take a look at these. So, uh, like I said, this is uh, from Amazon, and this is actually a two-pack of Batman and King Shark. These two look very sharp. These are going to be single carded releases, but if you've been on Amazon for a while, you'll know that they do these quote two packs where they basically just take two of the basic figures in this packaging and then just stick them into their own independent box. There's nothing special about these outside of, hey, this is one of the newer molds for Batman. Um, it looks fine, it's got the bat tech blue all over it, and obviously it will have the three different accessories. Um, the one I'm really excited about is the King Shark, because this is a very nice metallic paint job on him. They, they just did not skip out on this guy at all. Um, and he will also come with the three accessories. But where does this fit? So, if you remember, we had this huge leak... I don't know if it was a leak or just a reveal earlier that Wave 7, that once again, oh wait, that's, Wave 7 was supposed to be out two months ago. It is now October. These are supposed to be out two months ago, but these are finally hitting stores. So maybe Wave 8, that might have a, another two month delay as well. So we could be seeing these early next year. Um, but we have no way of knowing because these shipping delays are going to be so extensive due to, you know, just having the holiday season coming up soon so maybe wave 8 is going to have a huge delay but we do know that the batman s5 v3 and the king shark s2 v4 actually let's get a closer look uh the batman s5 v3 so sculpt 5 version 3 and the king shark sculpt 2 version 4 those will be hitting stores in wave 8 and those will be coming with a plethora of figures that we already have, we already have most of these. Um, 
even Catwoman isn't going to be getting a new sculpt. She's just sculpt one. Same with Nightwing. He's been the same since wave one. Uh, and then the Batman, we're still going to be pumping out uh, the same wave one Batman that we've still gotten. Uh, either way, wave eight doesn't seem to be too, too exciting. But with the news that these things are actually hitting stores, um... You know, I, it's got me so, so excited for the rest of this line. And, hey, if you want a more in-depth look at these three figures and some of the disappointing aspects, uh, I'll tell you all about it in the review coming out soon-ish. It will be on this channel, so definitely look forward to it. And it will be linked whenever I make that happen. So, guys... Thank you so much for watching. Tell me in the comments down below what you're most excited about. If you've been hunting these, uh, are you excited to find more of these? Are you just over the whole line because it's been too long? Let me know in the comments. I know there's been frustration, but we at least have three new characters to bring to the collection. So, hey, good luck. Happy hunting.